disrespect to any other fights out there, but this is all that matters right now on GYGB. Mexico versus Puerto Rico in classic fashion. We got two warriors about to get it in. 12 straight rounds, but maybe not. You know what I mean? GYGB. <laughs> You know, Fight Israel, here, Israel got the, the count there. We calling this the hood down right here. We got my man Miguel Angel Cotto fighting Antonio the Tito Juana Tornado Margarito for the WBA and the IBF Championship belts of the world. Mm -hmm. Without further ado, we finally here, my man. We finally here. Let's get it cracking, GYGB. First of all, Who must walk a damn big fight? That's <laughs> First of all, my colleagues even doubt the fact that it would even happen this fight. True. 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 I mean, I'm always thinking but you know business. What? This, but is, that's fight, this is one of those fights that's going to be good for boxing. Mm -hmm. I would like to see more and more hype from the public to build this fight up because this is going to be a fantastic fight. This is a purest fight. Let the right. public. A lot of ca yeah. casual fans don't really no, know too much about boxing. Yeah, yeah. But here it is. I think that this fight, there's not going to be a knockout in this fight. Sad to say. Big Mike like knockout. There's not <laughs> going to be a knockout. This is going to go to the distance with Cotto being the victor. I think Cotto is going to box Margarito because if anything that, that Centron and Margarito has taught Cotto, that you got to box Margarito. You can't go in there and bang with Margarito. It's just... That's just a that's just a no win power position. He's going to do something different. He's going to, he's going to um, he's going to basically come out like he did against Shane. He's going to box him. He's going to give him some angles. He's going to run some circles around him. So he gonna run the last three rounds then. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what he did against Shane. That's what we what he did against Shane. Is he going to run? He's he boxes his spots. But... He's going to do what he got to do to win a fight. But you know we never saw we never saw Mark Rito take an a body assault like a lot of Cotto's opponents have, uh, have received. So. You might see something different. Same thing vice versa, though. Well, well no, no. Same no, thing vice versa. No, no, Cotto um, ain't, ain't been in there with a body banger. He took a few head shots. Torres was a head yeah, shot. Zab hit with a head right, shot. That's what, this is what I want to ask you. Like, if if he, the type of attack, because this is the type of attack that I see Cotto has to do to give Margarito problems. And I'm going on record He's like boxing. All right, but they, you act like this is so simple. Yeah, <laughs> this is the I mean, way it is. This is what you guys got to understand. We're dealing with two psychopaths, two hitmen with different demeanors. Mm -hmm. You got the one hitman, Cole, who come in quietly, clank, clank, walk out, no expression, nothing, get in the car, go have a donut. <laughs> then you got the other psychopath, clank, 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 Right, yeah. Guarantee you, like I said, this is a fight that could change the direction of either one of their careers. It's going to be a, a major body assault. could be a lot of internal bleeding, damage. That translates to an excellent fight for fight fans all around the world. But as Big Mike, you said, boxing, like, you know, I ain't going to lie. A couple of weeks ago, I, I, I teetered towards the fence and said, I started having flashbacks of when Margarito fought, um, what's my man name, um, the duty for on Friday night fight. No, uh, my man broke his hand. Um, Clyde. 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 Joshua Clyde. Clyde. Clyde was able to sit in the pocket, train with him, make him miss. So to make a long story short, I started having flashbacks of Cotto shooting lead rights, turning him and moving him. But then, you know, as I talked to my brethren over and over again, I started thinking about the second half of the fight. I see the first half of the fight, Cotto dominating, looking like an excellent boxer, but then the Tijuana Tornado just will not You're talking about the Joshua Clark and uh, Margarita. Margarita. Clark. Yeah. Well, he can't say Cotto can't Josh, Josh, like that, though. Joshua Clark hurt his hand. He hurt his hand. He hurt his hand. Yeah, hand. yeah but they're the type of fighter. Right? They both, they got different styles when it comes to fighting. Joshua Clark is, is a, a, a more of a, a, a sound technician than Cotto is. But let me say this real quick. Miguel Cotto... One thing about him, he, he, he handles adversity well. Like, he's been faced mm -hmm. with adversity in the Torres fight. He weathered that storm. He was faced with uh, some uh, adversity in the Zad fight. He, he weathered that storm. Chop, but here's chop. the difference, though. Why I'm, why I'm picking Margarito to win this fight is because he's never fought a dude that stalks, stalks as he stalks. See, Cotto, the fighters that he was successful against, he walked them down and he stalked those fighters. Now, in the Shane fight, he did show some boxing skills in that fight, but Shane was a little bit older, but no excuses. He still won, but well, he ran a three well, rounds. Well, what happened when Shane tried to walk him down? Well, when so Shane started walking him down, he got on his bicycle and started running. He started running the last three rounds. Now back to back to the people that's how you going for Cotto. That's how you got to fight. He him cannot do this against Margarito. He can't do that. That's, that's what I'm saying. Question. You Wait, can't run against him and get on the bike. Ride that. Go ahead, Rod. I just think that, like you said, I think that, number one, Shane, I mean, um, Cotto showed me something in that fight against Shane. Even though he ran, like you said, he showed me something different. 
He has a different trick. You know, he has a 36 chambers, all different styles. This boy had a different no style. He can box. Yeah. And I said, hmm, this is interesting. Because I know that a person that can give someone angles would give Margarito trouble. But the other thing, too, is the fact that the twist is, have we seen anybody go to Margarito's body before? No. I don't think it matters. Okay, no, no, okay but here's the yeah. other thing. Have, has Margarita ever forced somebody that has the pop like Kodo? But see, y'all say yes or no. Uh, since I can crack, since I can crack, in fact, I'll go on a limb and say this. I'll go on a limb and say this. Shout out to my man Big Mike. I think Cintron has a better one punch knockout he power does. than Kodo. He Kodo does. With, 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 with the Cintron, with the Cintron lap that Kodo has, a body. He, he go to the body. I mean, that's 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 obvious. But we, what we gotta understand is, yeah, this is the first I mean, time he ain't jabbing me. Right, you know, right. it's Kodo gonna jab and make move. But we sat there in person and watched this man eat. That's what I'm Thunderous saying. uppercut, straight right hands from Centron and I just think, laugh them off. I think Centron, I'm gonna be honest, going back to never the been hurt in his career. But you know what? I think I think Centron, man, he just basically like laughed. I mean, he basically lacked that one. Oh, I think that basically he just lacks, and I'm gonna say this, desire to fight. Basically, he just disappeared after like the first round. He's like, you know what? I can't really hurt this dude. I'm. It's just a rap. It's, it was a rap. It was it just, the first fight and the second fight played out the same exact way. I think Cotto, believe it or not, just had more desire, man. It's like more yes, desire you throw, than Centron. What Ryder right Dyer is trying to say, when sometimes when you throw in your, your hardest hit that you know they can put through Oh, yeah. Some dude, you said that yeah. psychopath and the guy, was coming up. And the guy that's, that's coming, that just throws your no, you just made my point right yeah. there. First of all, but see, Cotto's prepared for that. Cotto prepared for that. No disrespect. Cotto's We're not trying to disrespect Cotto. Centron and Cotto doesn't even belong the same now season. Now he's belong the same season. Right. 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 No, seriously. No, Cotto is a proven champion. Now, I see it. Now, I see it. Now, I say it. Now, I go on record. Like, because I, I picked Cotto. Last couple of fights, I've been going against him. You know what I'm saying? He's been proving me wrong, and I have gone on record to say Cotto has that it factor. He knows how to win. I think he's going to go down as a great champion. But this particular fight right here, the only thing that perplexes me is the second, the second the, half of the fight. Second the half fourth of the quarter, quarter more so. It ain't even really the second half. It's yeah. the fourth quarter where Cotto's eating some punches because Shane was able to touch him. But Shane wasn't throwing multiple punches. He was able to land even though he was slipping stuff. We're talking about Cotto going to his body. Well, if you got, you got, you see Margarito, you see Cotto in person. They both go on each other's body. Cotto is winning by points. They go on into the sixth or seventh round. Uh, Cotto tries to maneuver. This man just hits him on the wild uppercuts towards the end of the round. Hook, I, see, I see him getting hurt before the the beginning of the seventh round, and the fight just changes. But, but, so see, gonna, gonna, but one thing, one thing, I'm gonna I'm I'm touch on that. We were talking about this before. Mm -hmm. Y'all comparing Shane and Margarito. Shane is twenty times faster than Margarito, man. See, Styles may fight. I'm serious. Listen, man. I mean, come on. Listen, man. it's like a Corvette yeah, person. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> far as speed and Shane. I, see, I, my thing is this, and I told Sweepers on the phone the other day. I'm giving Cotto the first five rounds of the fight. From the door, he's going to get that. He's going to outbox Margarito. And pretty much make him look silly. But see, with a fight going to get interesting at, and this is what happened in that Shane fight. Fatigue is going to set him. See, this is what Cotto, I, I have yet to see Cotto do this. <laughs> Box, slip, faint, he will have to roll, he will have to pot shot. I have yet to see him do that for a 12-round sequence okay. yet. And then against Margarito, you got to fight all three minutes. you got to fight all three minutes. Right. you got to constantly move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? you got to pot shot. And Margarito, one thing he does well is cut the ring off. So he cuts the ring off well. So we all now, he don't, he don't have no jab to set nothing up, though. But I think fatigue is going to set in. Like Sleeve said, it's going to be that one punch that's going to be the changing factor of the fight. And Cotto, won't, it, Cotto he can box, but he's not Floyd where he can pop that's shot and run for 12 straight. Don't that's get right. that twisted. So Cotto, you don't right. think that's happening. Are, are, you, are you predicting a Margarito uh, knockout? Oh, you know my prediction, Big Mike. I, 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 I well, was waiting. Man, I know your prediction, but the, the listen. But I wanted to kind of build it up. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm predicting an eighth or ninth round um, technical stoppage. That's wow. what I'm predicting. A wave off. Wow. That's what I'm predicting. By Margarito, I just think I always said Martin Colt. Listen, just so y'all don't call me no Cotto hater. If Cotto was fighting Paul Williams, I would have to sleep on that decision because I don't know who would win that fight. I might go with Cotto. If Cotto was fighting Clotty, I'm picking Miguel Cotto. I always said this from the door. I always thought this was a bad match for Cotto because he's fighting a mirror image of himself that's four inches higher than himself and way bigger than himself. He's fighting a mirror image but way nastier when it comes to inside work and cutting the ring off and just getting nasty. In the ring, I just think he overmatched in his fight physically. That's I, all. I just think, I just think Margarito looks better than what he does is because people go in with the same type yeah, of cookie sure. cutter. Mm -hmm. cut Styles may fight. And Don't and compare Daniel Santos to Paul Williams. Let me finish my point. They make 
They make Margarito look better than what he is. And I think a, a fighter like Cotto is going to expose him for what he... Think really about is.